morning. I'm a little under the weather. I'm kind of fatigued. And uh, I can hear it in my voice a little bit. Not as bad today, I don't think, as it was the last few days. So I'm taking a little break. But come on, man. But uh, had to run some errands. So I was just in line at, uh, at the 99 cent store. Went to Trader Joe's, went to the 99 cent store standing in line and there's this dude in front of me he he's got I guess on his phone he's got the news playing and it's all bad news and it's all and it's and, and it's and of course it kept going and going and going and and uh, it got the Trump all oh, you know Trump's case it's all BS all gonna get thrown out anyhow <clears throat> and in my mind I'm thinking what the fuck, dude? <laughs> like, I don't watch the news anymore because it's BS anyhow. And I thought to myself, I, I, this guy, well-dressed guy, well put together, not a bum. Uh, not a bum at all. You could just tell. Nice shoes, everything. Black guy, shaved head, uh, whatever. In my mind, I'm thinking, this can't be a happy guy. It just can't be. You can't listen to the news you can't watch an hour of news every single day and be a happy person. <laughs> you certainly can't be a happy person if you're audibly listening to the news everywhere you go to the point where even when you're standing in line at a cash register, it's blaring. It was highly annoying. And normally I would say something. I kept my mouth shut, and I'll tell you why in a second. But then some guy at another register walked around, don't know what happened, a bunch of drama. He came up to a woman that was two people ahead of the guy with the news blasting out of his ass, literally, because he's got it in his back pocket. And she wanted to cut in line. Or the guy, this other person wanted to cut in line in front of this woman, which I didn't even notice, because I'm like, I'm annoyed now, because I'm listening to shit that I'm purposefully cutting out of my life and trying not to listen to, being forced to listen to it. It's like... The, that's a thing, man. People doing what they want to do that clearly can be annoying to everybody else around you, like listening to your music or something. <clears throat> I, I hate going on hikes anymore up to the Hollywood sign because there's people with their speakers on their backpacks playing their shit music, man. Garbage music. Uh, techno crap, rap crap, whatever. Crap, 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 crap. I sound like this grumpy old guy. <laughs> but I listen to good music. I just, in Trader Joe's, like, I don't know if they had an oldie station on or what, but it was awesome. A bunch of doo-wop and cool 50s, 60s stuff, soul music. That's my fucking jam right there. Anyhow, this dude, who I have all these thoughts about, goes off at, to bam. And, I, and he just, he proved to me that he's an unhappy, miserable bastard. <laughs> and I just kept my mouth shut. The reason I kept my mouth shut is because... I've been watching this show lately that I highly recommend. I caught this show uh, a few years ago, I guess probably when it was on, and I didn't catch it from the beginning. Apologize for the camera bouncing. These are the roads in Los Angeles. Um, it's called Louder Milk. Uh, Ron Livingston. I really like Ron Livingston as an actor. I think he's great. Deadpan kind of dry sense of humor. You know, he he's one of those actors that, uh, like a lot of actors, they're not really actors. They look good on camera, and they basically play themselves, or, you know, the same thing over and over and over again. I don't think we're going to see Ron Livingston acting out as, like, uh, you know, geriatric or something, or, you know, like so many actors have done that, like... Uh, you know, they play like uh, there's something wrong with them or something or whatever. He's, he's never going to be that kind of actor, um, which is fine. I love the guy. He's freaking all, everything he does is awesome because he's always believable. He's got, always got the best lines. It seems like he was great in um, it was the Easy Company, you know, Band of Brothers, right? The HBO series. He was fantastic in that. Played a real person. Great. In Louder Milk, <clears throat> Netflix is playing it right now. I think it was only three seasons. I'm into the second season. 
it's easy to watch. They're 30 minute episodes. You can, you know, watch four episodes in two hours like that. Hysterical, very funny, bizarre. Uh, it's a, you know, it's a sitcom. And, but the, the, the thrust of it is he's an asshole. <laughs> he's this guy that, uh, if he was standing in line with this guy, he would say something. And that's how every episode starts. Him just basically accosting somebody in public over their behavior or how they're dressed or whatever. It's, it's, his takedowns are fucking epic. And his character is a guy that he was a critic, a, a music critic. He's written a few books as a critic on music. And uh, he's had failed relationships, a, a marriage that went to crap, and he's an alcoholic. And so his, what he's, the show is, he is the leader of an AA group. And the characters, it, listen, trust me on this show, okay? Just trust me. Louder Milk, spell it out. Louder Milk on Netflix. Trust me. <laughs> Because the, just the people in the group, it's like, what? Because you're just looking at the the, the, the the ensemble cast of that show, the people they cast for that show, you're like, where did these people come from? Because you've never seen them before, and they're awesome. They're awesome. Will Sasso's in it. He's a big comedian dude. He's pretty, he's really funny. So, watching that show should make you reflect a little on yourself if you're like me because I'm similar <laughs> I'm not as bad no way am I near as bad as that character but I've been known to say shit <laughs> to perfect strangers so I'm like okay like that's a bad thing like they really point it out I mean he basically gets called an asshole in every single episode <laughs> and he he just owns it man he owns it you know he's always got the one eyebrow above the other eyebrow everywhere he goes Looks like something's like highly interesting hmm. or questionable. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> so I'm just saying, watching that show kept me from being an asshole today. That's all I have to say. Just a quick little pop on here. Uh, I might put a video together of the project I've been working on on the Butler's Pantry. <clears throat> and, uh, I might do that today because it's pretty much done. I just have to put this desktop in and a shelf and everything else is done. So uh, that's it. Hope you enjoyed this. I guess it's another rant. I don't know. <laughs> have a good day. Be nice to one another. Again, if you're looking for something to watch that should make you laugh, I'm curious about this. If you've seen it already, if you haven't seen it and you watch it, and you think I'm crazy for thinking it's so good, yeah, let me know. I don't really care, but you know, you can let me know anyhow. Have a great day, be good to one another. I'll catch you all in the next one.